नमस्कार वेलकम टू डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट एंड द हाईलाइट ऑफ द ब्रीफिंग इज द हीट वेव कंडीशंस वेरी लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ओवर द पार्ट्स ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया एंड सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द आंध्र प्रदेश एंड तेलंगाना ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट फाइव डेज एंड अनदर हाईलाइट इज वी विल ऑल्सो लुक अबाउट द वेरी सीवियर साइक्लोनिक स्टॉम बिफोर जाए ओवर द अरेबियन सी If you look into the uh, studies observed weather during past 24 hours, then the hail storm activity occurred over the Himachal Pradesh, and instead a heavy rainfall was observed over the north eastern states, uh, which includes the mainly over the Tripura, Assam, Meghalaya, Sikkim, and heavy heavy rainfall was also recorded over the Tamil Nadu and Andaman Nicobar Islands. Similarly, the study heat wave conditions were prevailed over many parts of the Bihar and some parts of the Sikkim, West Bengal, Jharkhand, and at one or two places over Odisha also. And if we look for the monsoon update, so uh, as we know, yesterday the uh, southwest monsoon has reached to the Kerala coast, and today monsoon has not uh, moved further. However, the conditions are becoming favorable for the advancement of the southwest monsoon over the some more parts of the Central Arabian Sea, entire uh, over the remaining parts of the Kerala, some more parts of the Tamil Nadu, some parts of the Karnataka, and during next 24 hour, and next 24 hour it will also cover some more parts of the Bay of Bengal and some. Parts of the north eastern states, and uh, during the subsequent 48 hours, the now uh, this monsoon will cover the entire north east India and some parts of the sub Himalayan West Bengal and Sikkim. It means the monsoon will cover the entire north east India and some parts of the Sikkim uh, before 19th of June. And if you look for the study, maximum temperature in the study, the maximum temperature was 40 to 42 degrees centigrade over many parts of the East India, many parts of the Central India, some parts of the Northwest India, and some parts of the Northern parts of the Peninsular India. And in the remaining parts of the country, the maximum temperatures were below 40 degrees centigrade, and uh, there will not be any significant change in maximum temperature in the upcoming five days. If you look for the today's uh, main significant synoptic feature, so as we have seen the a cyclonic storm before July, which lies over the Arabian Sea, mainly over the Central Arabian Sea. Over the Bay of Bengal, uh, uh, under the influence of the cyclonic circulation over the East Central Bay of Bengal, today morning a low pressure area has formed over the North East Bay of Bengal, and this low pressure area is very likely to become into a well marked low pressure area during next 12 hours. Over the North India, a western disturbance lies over the Uttarakhand and and over the uh, East India, a cyclonic circulation lies over the South Chhattisgarh. Another cyclonic circulation lies over the East Bihar. And over the East India, a North South Trough also runs from the Eastern Bihar up to the Northwest Bay of Bengal in the lower tropospheric levels. Because of the these synoptic uh, features, uh, if you look for the weather warning for the next five days, so the heat wave conditions will continue to prevail over the East India during next five days. Because of that, we have given the uh, orange color warning for the mainly for the West. Bengal, Jharkhand, Bihar and Sikkim area for uh, from uh, till uh, till uh, 13th of June and heat wave conditions will also likely to prevail over some parts of the Uttar Pradesh during next three days and heat wave conditions will also continue over the Telangana and coastal Andhra Pradesh during next two days. So we have given the yellow color warning for the Uttar Pradesh, Telangana and coastal Andhra Pradesh for the next two to three days. Over the South Peninsular India, the heavy rainfall uh, activity is very likely mainly over the Kerala, coastal Karnataka and South Indore Karnataka and Lakshadweep area during next three days. So for all the three days, we have given the yellow color warning for the uh, Kerala, South Indore Karnataka, coastal Karnataka and Lakshadweep area. Over the northeast India, light rainfall activity will continue over the most parts of the northeast India during next five days, and heavy rainfall activity is also likely mainly over the Mizoram and Tripura uh, till uh, 11th of June, and heavy rainfall activity is very likely over the Arunachal Pradesh and Assam and Meghalaya during next five days. So we have given the yellow color warning for the Arunachal Pradesh and Assam and Meghalaya for the next five days, and yellow color warning we have given the NMMT means Mizoram and Tripura also for the upcoming five days. Uh, there will not be any significant weather over most parts of the central India, most parts of the west India and most parts of the northwest India in the upcoming five days. And if you look for the, the cyclonic storm before Jaya, so this very severe cyclonic storm before Jaya is moving uh, basically uh, north north eastwards with a speed of about uh, 3 to 5 kmps during past 6 hours and uh, today morning it is roughly 800 km away from the Goa, it is 8, 820 km away from the Bombay and this is the 830 km away from Porbandar and this 
uh, Biporjay is roughly 1120 kilometers south of Karachi and this cyclonic uh, this uh, this uh, uh, Biporjay uh, very likely to move north north eastwards during next 48 hours and thereafter there will be a kind of the recurvature towards the north north westwards so in this satellite pictures we can see the cloud convection over the central parts of the arabian sea because of this uh, before the very severe cyclonic storm and this is the this black color line is the observed track it means the how the this system has been formed over the arabian sea and how it moved uh, till today and this red color line represents the how what will be the forecast up uh, this forecast up this cyclonic storm before jay and this uh, today morning the wind speed uh, is roughly around 125 to 135 kmph uh, is prevailing over the central parts of the arabian sea and this cyclone this very severe cyclonic storm will more intensify in the upcoming 36 hours until tomorrow evening the wind speed will be roughly 145 to 155 kmph over the central arabian sea and um, thereafter it means the, uh, it means from from the 11th June onwards there will be the uh, weakening of this uh, cyclonic storm will start and the wind speed will reach roughly along 120 to 130 kmph till day after tomorrow evening and if you look into the fisherman warning over the mainly over the arabian sea so today and tomorrow the wind speed uh, roughly uh, around 140 to 160 kmph are prevailing over the central arabian sea on both the days however wind speeds uh, roughly along 90 to 120 kmph are prevailing around this area around the central parts of the arabian sea and since 11th of june there will be the gradual reduction of the wind speed because the now uh, since 11th of june the system will start weakening so on 11th june 12th and 13th of june the max maximum wind speed will be somewhere 110 to 130 kmph will prevail over the some parts of the central arabian sea and the around surrounding areas the wind speed will be 90 to 120 kmph so all the fishermen are advised not to venture into mainly over the central arabian sea and the adjoining area during the next five days over the bay of bengal also because of the low pressure area formation of mainly over the northeast bay of bengal uh, there will be the squally weather uh, rough, uh, over the uh, East Central Bay of Bengal, Northeast Bay of Bengal and some parts of the South Bay of Bengal which will continue to prevail during next 4 to 5 days. So fishermen are also advised not to enter into those areas in the upcoming 5 days. Uh, for more detailed weather information, you can visit the IMD website, you can follow us on our YouTube uh, page, you can follow us on our Facebook page and our uh, Twitter handle. Thank you.